My name is Connor Shanahan, I'm 15, and this is my professional drift car. Drifting is my life, and I want to prove to myself that I can come on top this season, beating the strongest drivers in the European Superstar Series. But it's not going to be easy. One of my strongest rivals is my brother Jack. Yeah, your older and more talented brother. <laughs> Together we are going to take you behind the scenes of our journey and expose the highs and lows while travelling as a family throughout Europe. And of course, have some fun along the way. It has taken a lot of family effort to get where we are today. Our family has put everything on the line. And we are not stopping here. History is the baby! You're watching The Shanahan's. So yeah, let's get into the Q&A. So the first question we have, can we get a closer look at your trailer? That thing is beautiful. Yeah, definitely. On the next episode, we promise to give you a proper rundown of our new trailer. If you couldn't do drifting, what other motorsport would you compete in? I think we both have the same answer here. Yeah, well, mine would be World Rally Cross. So. Well, no. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you would say the same. Uh, yeah, so World Rally Cross for me, because I'd obviously love to do rallying, but Rally Cross is that little bit safer and it involves going fast, racing, and doing a hell lot of sliding. Yeah, for me, it's rallying. I absolutely love the sport, so yeah, something I'd definitely like to get into in the future. Next question, do more videos in the card with scrap cars. Also, he means in the yard in with the scrap yard. cars. Yeah, they're quite dangerous, so um, <laughs> yeah, well, I think we need to stop them, but maybe, uh, maybe we'll do some more, um, more fun ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Jacob Martin has asked the question what happened to Connor's car at round four and can we have a tour of the new rig yeah so for the new rig yes as I said yeah, next, next episode, episode. fortunately oh, yeah. as we said there was a yeah. bit of miscommunication in the team everything was kind of intense that round so unfortunately tire pressures weren't done a mistake what we learned from which is the most important thing if you can learn from your mistakes it's all good so Charles said Jack versus McCarthy in the final of round two was sick so yeah, not yes. much of a question, but thanks. <laughs> uh, so what's been your favorite battle so far this season? I think mine has been me and Zaleski and Riga because it was fairly intense and it was one more time and it was just all sorts of stupid. <laughs> so, <laughs> you? I think mine and your battle punched some maybe. Oh yeah, definitely intense. enjoyable. Really enjoyable battle. Or was the one where you beat me in Mandalo? No, I think punch some was more like... Go hard. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Where can we buy the jerseys? You can buy them at bandanastreet.com. It's got like a whole thing there to yeah. buy them where you can just click do it all. Link. Click the link. Click the link <laughs> and just go yeah. buy them, buy them all. Not a question, but both of you are the biggest inspiration in my life and no doubt it's many years. So thank you very much and really appreciate it. So thank you, Ian. Appreciate it. Okay, so I have my dream build, so I'm going to ask you this question because he asked us. Dream build? He said dream build. So what's your dream build, Connor? Um, I think right now, new Toyota Supra, like HGK build. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets one, I want one. You? <laughs> Jamie. Collins has asked, do you think you could be heading for FD? Of course we would both love to head to FD, obviously. I think it's uh, most professional drifters dream. Yeah. But to go to FD, it costs a crazy amount of money. So yeah, if we get the right opportunity, of course, we'll grab it both hands. But other than that, yeah. right now, we're um, settling for Europe and we're enjoying it there. Uh, but Japan would be pretty cool. Just, it's every drifter's yeah. dream to get to Japan as well. And it's probably a bit more reasonable. So we'd love to get there. Next question. How many comps would you say you won? <laughs> <laughs> Are these all? Uh, no. Uh, I've never really counted, I tell you. I think Mamba's thrown out some because they were just in the way and then there's some downstairs and then there's a few in the truck. So. I think it's probably <laughs> that because pro am competitions we both won a lot. Yeah, I think it's easier when you say championships. So yeah. for me it's been four or five championships. For me so. it's been probably two. How does Connor manage school and drifting? Lucky that school are quite understanding of what I do. So basically drifting works off a season. So they understand when I'm busy, I'm busy. Other than that, I'm in school. I think uh, school is quite important. So I think everybody should go to school as drifting can be one thing, but tomorrow they like to turn off and you just don't know what it's gonna go. So yeah, for me, school is quite important too. How many crawlers <laughs> do we have? My dad has every crawl in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, so, so if you're looking for some parts. <laughs> Connor might know this, but Keith likes cars as well. Oh, so really? He's in like competition with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> for the old crawl that we get up. <laughs> You're never going to win against my dad. Jimmy, how did you start learning to drift? Mine was from you. You uh, was from James. 
Yeah, so we just kind of, it's like we used to do stock car racing, then we seen that James and a couple of others around here used to do drifting, and then I went to do drifting, so bought a car, James offered to give me some tips, then I started drifting, then kind of realized that I was doing cooler things than what he was, and then he went to do drifting, so then I kind of showed him. <laughs> Yeah, I think a lot of people don't know is that like in our small area was like yeah. probably very very big part of our trip thing. Like you got oh, Darren McTamara, Mike Fitz, Alan Linehan, there's so many, so many drivers, James and Mike only live two minutes over the road. So yeah, I think we were saying that like there was only like fifty percent of pro drivers like in from Cork, yeah. like a six or a seven mile radius of our house. Just crazy. Just like mid I think actually where it stood out for me was Drift All Stars in like 2013. Yeah, and I remember sitting in the grass stand with James, who came with you actually. Yeah. And for, I remember watching your second qualifying when your spoiler flew off into the grandstand, the place went absolutely nuts. I was like, yeah, this is kind of for me too now. <laughs> so yeah, for me, that's where it started. Jamie's tire. For starting the drifting with a budget, what's the main thing you will need? You will need a lot of tires, a lot of fuel, and lots of other things. <laughs> you will not. That's not very realistic, to be fair. <laughs> no, but I'm just kind of giving it. So. What you need is to not spin too much because you won't enjoy it straight away. Yeah, so you buy the cheapest thing you can buy, the cheapest tires you can buy, and just keep learning in that car. Don't think that you're kind of rejection in on your first practice day because we all started. I think even a big thing is with drifting, even if you have the biggest budget ever, never go buy the best car you can buy because you will see from like a lot of drivers out there that you know starting from yeah. even us sliding cars around mm -hmm. the field and stuff, it pays off in the long run because car yeah. control is everything, you know. It's never about the machine you have on yeah, each. Like a brake horsepower car is easy, it's what you can do with a 700 brake horsepower car is a hard thing. So I think it's important for people to start as low as they can and then work their way up to there, you know. Plans for the cars, I think the cars are going to stay. Yeah, they're going to stay fairly similar, it's going to yeah, be kind of ideal. a freshen up. When will be the new design for the Shanahan's clothes? Quite soon actually, we're already working on it. If you feel like getting Christmas presents ready, we should have stock late October, November. Yeah, so we'll keep you posted on that We'll be making sure to post links that if you need to sort out your loved ones with some cool shit, you can sort them out pretty easy. <laughs> What's your biggest achievement so far? Uh, my biggest achievement so far is probably beating James Dean because like it's like just one of those things. Yeah. For me, either beating James or being on an episode of the Grand Tour was quite cool for me as well. When will you visit UAE? UAE. That's the Middle East, just yeah. in case you didn't know. Connor. But my kind of, I was like, okay, yeah, I know where it is now. Connor did geography at school, that's why I was showing you. <laughs> I seen a geography book on the table last week. Something is from the year. Yeah, there. yeah. When we visit, it's been Sultan and the lads bring us something so we can actually go and yeah, trash yeah. with them there. It looks so. really cool what they do with the stuff and the dunes and the buggies and stuff. And Just drifting, having a good time. Drifting looks quite cool over there as well, so hopefully, maybe we can get out there someday. Yeah. Where were we? How is John? John is yeah, great. great. He's giving out all the time, which is a good thing. New livery coming for next season or sticking with the same, love this year's livery. More or less the same, I think my car will look more different than your car now. Yeah, so it's kind of going to be like similar kind of colours, same kind of design, but just kind of Maybe there will be um, some sort of an animal on my car, we'll see. What are the plans for last year's drift cars? For the 180, I think maybe yeah, it will see the track again, definitely. Uh, yeah, in the S14, I don't know, just sitting outside in the rain for now. So if I can get the parts to get it together just so I can have like a practice car, I would like to do that. How long have the boys been drifting for? I'm old, I'm old, I'm old now. Check is done. So I started <laughs> drifting when I was 12 and I was 20, so that's eight years. Kind of entire life. I've been drifting. Uh, for you me, started drifting when you were four years ago. Yeah, you were. at the end of the season, it'll be like four years. Yeah. Okay, this is a difficult question. How do you make so much money, and how could you afford the truck? We can't afford the truck. Yeah. Nobody can. <laughs> But uh, we have unbelievable sponsors, and we work pretty damn hard to try to put all of the money that we can into our program. I think a lot of people don't understand, they just think, oh, it's money left over, so here, boys, go enjoy it. It's not like that. Yeah. I think people should realize that dad works incredibly hard. He's like never off the road. He's doing everything he can to make sure that everything will work out for us. So yeah, he's gave us every opportunity possible, which we can't thank him enough for, so. Definitely. Interested to know about your diff setups. I assume you run an LSD. No, we don't run an LSD. Uh, no, it's not an LSD. It's a you winter's performance it quick change. And it's a spool diff, so it's like a solid diff. So it's very the same if you have a welded diff in your normal car, just we can expensive and fancy one. We change can the change gear. Ratios very like fast. four minutes. What are your goals in drifting? Mine is just to be able to drift for as long as I can while I'm enjoying it. I don't really have any goals to, of course I want to win as many championships as I can in the world. I want to go to Formula Drift and win. I want to be in European level of drifting and win, but, and yeah, keep the Shanahan's alive. 
travel around the world together. Yeah, my goal is just to keep drifting and to keep putting on a show the best I can. Uh, to win is obviously a goal, but that's kind of a goal that you have to yeah, be really good at the sport to actually make it happen. It doesn't happen, it doesn't As happen. As we're putting on a show, happen. just having a good time is an easier goal, you know. Wish you were still hot rodding, Connor lad. Yeah, hot rodding, which was stock cars, which mentioned, was a massive part of all our family's life until I was like, well, maybe even 13. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. yeah you've been, I was like 14 or 15, so. So yeah, it was a um, massive part of our lives, and we met some really good people there. And it taught us an unmerciful amount of yeah, driving. Definitely. So. I really can't wait to see you guys at Tullerone. Can I give you a hug, and please, can I get a selfie? Of course. No Anytime. Actually. If you could win any event in the world, where would it be? Or <laughs> Me too. 100%. Actually, After, no, for me, Long Beach. Nah. I've been to Orndale and I've got to see the atmosphere that place has, and my god, mind blowing. And if I would stand in the top step there, yeah, we could go. Fairly mind blowing result. Connor, what did it feel like when you won your first Irish trophy at Mandelo on Sunday, the 24th of July? Yeah, it was a really good feeling. I've been driving in Ireland from the start, and it's funny, I won a British first place, and then I won my European event before I even managed mm -hmm. to win my first Irish Pro event. So yeah, it was really cool, and of course, to beat him was even more special. And that's really, really cool, actually, that uh, Ronan knows that uh, date of when I won my first Irish shift event. So yeah, thanks for that. There's a good one there. On a scale of one to 10, how strict were your parents? Not that strict. No, they weren't. No, we were quite lucky. Well, they were a little bit more strict for me than you. Yeah. So. I think they were strict about making sure that we kind of... You got your car fixed and ready to go to the events. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for me I was never really a garage person where you kind of like just kind of fell on that roll and lucky. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was the fact that I just wasn't able to play sport. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> actually a good point. I grew up playing like so much sport, football, hurling and... It was never my thing. So like it was kind of like I was, I've always been to cars. So when it came to like getting my hands dirty, it wasn't an issue. As we're kind of... Yeah, well I've never really, I never really had interest in cars. No, that's but the funny thing. I was just going to say that like you actually have to make the decision if it was yeah. like football or so when dad did me my first drift car I was playing like decent level soccer in Ireland he made me make decision he didn't really give me any other choice because he had the car built and if I told him that I was going to go play soccer I'd say I wouldn't have actually made it out of the shed I would have been just like dead <laughs> on the door <laughs> I would never be he would have made sure I never would have been able to kick a soccer ball again one thing that your mom and dad taught you. Mom, I think kind of level-headed and just make sure to always enjoy what you're doing. Uh, dad, not to give up on anything really, <laughs> even when you are down and out, that it can always get better. I think it's the same answers for me. Yeah. Mom, because dad never had interest in any like sports, I think if I played like my biggest ever soccer match, like right there, they wouldn't even look out the window to watch it. So mom kind of traveled, brought me all over Ireland mm -hmm. to play soccer. Every morning we left at like half seven, every time we needed to play soccer, even earlier if it was further away. And yeah, she always told me that it was my decisions what I wanted to do even when dad was trying to get me into cars and stuff she always made sure that it was up to me she never put pressure on me and she always guided me to what kind of was the right decision so yeah same kind of answers for me mm. yeah why well, you both are good don't know <laughs> yeah Thanks, just, don't know. it's quite hard being we don't <laughs> we don't get a chance to practice or anything mm. so it's kind of I think it's passion this is a good question. Brit Webb, one of our mechanics. Can I do a donut on the G36? Of course you can. <laughs> Season's nearly over, so just come by. <laughs> I'm taking to a track if you want to, we don't really care. <laughs> Probably the best so, question. Yeah. This is really one of the funniest questions. <laughs> could Big John put Humpty Dumpty back together again? And uh, I don't know, I'd say he could, and it probably would be in the five minute room. Just get him the hammer and all the tools he's screaming for. <laughs> What's your daily driver? That probably applies to me and it's my mum's focus. So, nothing special. I have a drift car. <laughs> describe Connor and Jack in one word. You describe, Lucas, you describe us. Dumb and dumber. It's <laughs> not bad. Leave That's actually a dumb one. Leave the dumb one. <laughs> describe mum and dad in one word. Sweetheart and crazy. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> what rule do you wish they would introduce into drifting? None. Couldn't give a fuck about the rules. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you roll your eyes? <laughs> Fat ass. <laughs> Big boobies. <laughs> As you can see, there are so many questions and we can't answer them all, but yeah. Thank you so much. Some of the questions were very, very good. This yeah. won't be the last one. We will do some more and maybe describe the topic of the questions what we want the next time. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. thank you guys so much. Cheers uh, for watching and hope, make sure you do a share. Hope you guys yeah, enjoyed this kind of uh, form of vlog. It's not a regular one. We just said we do this to kind of change it up. The vlogs of competing all the time kind of get boring because they're more yeah. or less the same. You same know, stuff, it's the same, same stuff. Same. We're talking about the same thing. You're, yeah. Plus they're quite hard to film because me and you were 
concentrating on winning all the time so it's good to give you an idea of talking about yeah, the event actually step by step so hope you guys enjoy it comment let us know if you did and also let us know if you didn't yeah please cool. so yeah see you good night see you